In this video, I'm going to show you how we can run Windows on an iPad, or more specifically, how we can use an iPad to connect up to Windows 365, where we're running a complete Windows operating system and accessing it through the iPad. And I'm going to use this keyboard, this little portable Bluetooth keyboard that gives me both the keyboard and a pointing device to make my life a little easier. The portable keyboard's nice. It gives me both a keyboard as well as a pointing device. So let's say I want to go in and use an application such as Microsoft Power BI Desktop, which runs on Windows. I can just go in there. It'll launch the application on Windows 365, and I can use my iPad to work with data. Now, you might wonder why would I possibly want to have Windows on my iPad? And there are several reasons for this. Let's say, for example, you're taking a course in school and you're only taking that course for a semester or maybe a couple of semesters and you don't want to go out and have to buy a whole new laptop just to run Windows. Let's say you only want to access it for four months or eight months and you want to have a full Windows machine, but you don't want to have to go out and buy the hardware to support it. Well, Windows 365 will allow me to create that machine in Microsoft's cloud on Windows 365, but I can still use my iPad to access it and interact with it. So it is a good solution for many scenarios. Before I can use a Windows 365 machine, of course, I have to create a Windows 365 machine. So either my IT department or myself can do this. If I go to windows365.microsoft.com, you'll notice that I have the option to get more PCs. That will require me to log into my Office 365 account with administrative credentials and purchase the machine. Once I purchase the machine, you can see I already have one here, the cloud demo. That's got two virtual CPUs, four gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage. It's a nice little machine that I can take control of. Now, what I need to do before I do any of this is click this button that says Download Remote Desktop. You'll notice that I can go directly to the App Store here, but I'll go to it just using the App Store application. But the more important thing here is, notice where it has this link that says Get Subscription URL. This is very important. When I click on Subscribe with the URL, I'm going to copy this URL. And that's going to be important because when I go into Remote Desktop, this will allow me to attach to the workspace for that virtual PC. Let's go have a look at that. Once I've created a Windows 365 PC, either myself or my IT department has created that, then what I need to do is use the iPad software Remote Desktop in order to connect to that machine. And I can get that for free from the App Store. So if I just go into the App Store on the iPad, search up Remote Desktop, you'll notice that I have the Microsoft Remote Desktop, and I'm going to open that application because I've already downloaded it. So you'll see it'll open up the Microsoft Remote Desktop, and you'll see I'm in the workspaces here. If I go to PCs, I don't have any PCs associated with it. If I go to workspaces, you can see my Windows 365 system is there. If I hit the plus sign, I can add additional PCs or workspaces here, and I get that workspace URL from when I created the, the Windows 365 machine. But here it is. I have my Windows 365 machine. I'll click on it. After authenticating, it'll take me directly to that machine exactly where I left off. So you can see with this machine, I had been working with Power BI. And if I just minimize that, I have my nice clean Windows 10 environment. I can open up all sorts of different applications, open up the Edge browser if I want to go on the internet through that machine. Although, obviously, you could do this directly through the, through the iPad itself. But you can go in and run a number of different applications that might not be available on your Mac or on your iPad. You're running them as a full remote desktop. It's as if you were sitting in front of a Windows 10 machine. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was a useful video for you. Hit the like button if it was and subscribe if you like more tips and tricks on how to use technology for better teaching and learning. Thanks again for watching.